This is the most interesting tech book to come out in the past few years. Let's read it together. <laughs> so this is Crafting Interpreters by Robert Newstrom. Uh, it's his second book. The first one was already well received, uh, but then he sought out to create this one and it took him years. Uh, why? Because he wanted to... It, it's hard to talk about creating a programming language and interpreters and compilers. There are other books out there, of course, but they're usually very hard to read, very dense material. And he wanted to create something that was approachable, but that at the same time didn't cut corners and, and omit important information. So to find out the correct balance and to create the correct progression, uh, not to mention that he made like hundreds of handwritten handmade uh, illustrations. Uh, so it took him years to create this and the reviews are amazing. Some people even go on uh, as far as to say that it's career changing. And I want someone to read this book with me. Uh, why would you want to read this book? Well, first of all, which developer never had the curiosity of how programming languages were made. This will tackle that curiosity. But of course, on, a, on more practical terms, this book will guide you through everything that a programming language does and that in, a programming language interpreter and compiler does. You will get a deeper understanding of how programming languages work in general, what are, how garbage collector works, how memory allocation works, uh, closures, and, 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 and it's going to tackle so many points that even though we most likely won't create won't work on a daily basis, they touch our work uh, 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 in a daily basis. So what I'm trying to say is it's going to level up your skills as a developer. I want someone to read this book with me so we can hold each other accountable and also share and learn together. Uh, I talked to the author, so he gave me the green flag to go on with this. What you have to do is first you get the book, you can write, you can get the print version just as I, as I did. Uh, you can also buy the ebook version or you can read for free uh, on the web. But if you can, given all of the effort that the author put on this, do buy some version. Then every now and then I'm going to release a new video covering one or more chapters. Now, I'm, uh, uh, there's one among all of the learning strategies, there was, there's one that has been proven to work with all sorts of people in all sorts of cultures and environments and even mammals in general, which is uh, delayed repetition. So the way this is going to work is you watch the videos in advance. I'm going to glance over the topics that are covered in the chapters. Uh, I'm also going to talk about more about the implementation part because the book uses Java and I'm going to cover that in a second. Uh, and then after that, you'll be more prepared to actually go and read on uh, uh, the chapters. Then the discussion happens on Flipgrid, flipgrid.com slash CassioZen. I'm not trying to sell you any, anything there. It's a free platform for social learning where we can go and share videos and share audios and have a discussion. So that's why I opened uh, uh, that space and want to use it for this book club. Now, about that book having been written uh, using Java, and I, I know that this raised a flag because uh, if you're watching my channels, you're probably a JavaScript developer, right? I talk a lot about JavaScript and I talk a lot about React. Uh, so yeah, the book is, is split in three parts. The first part introduces the main concepts uh, and the language JLocks that, that we're going to be creating. The second part implements an interpreter uh, in Java. And the third part implements an interpreter that it's, acts more like a compiler uh, in C. I don't know if we're going to get all the way to the third part, but I want to get at least the first two parts. Uh, and the Java that the book uses is not, uh, it's just very plain, basic Java functions. It doesn't use any esoteric Java functionality. Uh, and Java syntax is not that far uh, from JavaScript. So it's not going to be a completely new model. Uh, it's certainly a, a slightly different syntax and uh, uh, but I'm sure that I know Java and I'm sure that I can tackle in the video before you read the chapters, all the Java that you need to know to be able to read the chapters. So let's do it. Grab your copy of the book, go to flipgrid.com slash Cassius and uh, I'm going to, in the next few days, I'm going to record the video covering the part one, the part one, whole part one is going to be on a single video uh, and we'll start from there.